What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have five tips that are gonna help you get stronger in Diablo 4. Let's get right into it. So guys, coming with tip number one is upgrading your gear. I know we've talked about this in the past in some cases, but what you wanna do is upgrade your gear. This is very, very strong, it's gonna help you do a lot more damage. So you need to go to the blacksmith, you're gonna put your item in here and you're gonna see how much more it upgrades as far as your damage per second and then all of your stat priorities. The reason that you wanna do this is because it's going to make your character so much stronger. You, you may not think that a 3.3% or 3.5% is a lot, but it actually is when it comes to doing overall damage in this game. And don't get misled with these attack power, armor, and life numbers. You know, this factors in a lot of different things, but Upgrading your gear is 100% a priority. So you come to the blacksmith, you upgrade it to level four, and then we're gonna go ahead and max it out to level five, and you see how much stronger this actually is. And we're getting plus six uh, ranks of claw, which is actually pretty cool. I didn't get the plus nine, but that's okay. So tip number two is re-rolling stat priorities, which you can find over here at the occultist. You're gonna navigate up to enchant item, and you're gonna re-roll a stat priority. For example, you're going to have uh, your item here and you're going to re-roll the secondary affixes on your gear just to re-roll and try to get something better. The one negative to this is, is you're not going to be able to see what you can re-roll into, but re-rolling a stat priority is going to help your character do even more damage. We talked about this in depth in another video, but for example, this is very expensive and you can see the resources that it costs to get these, including Forgotten Souls, which you guys can get in the Helltide. So let's just re-roll Cold Resistance. I don't really need that. I don't need slow duration. I guess I'll take the dodge chance or you cannot change it at all and it will say the 44 cold uh, resistance if you decide not to change it. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the dodge chance just to replace it. And then you guys can see it costs even more money to redo it again. So, but upgrading or changing your affixes on your abilities can be really, really powerful to get the exact ones that you need to help your build. So for example, doing damage with uh, to slow to enemies if you get something like that or vulnerable damage something like that is really really good I like this i don't necessarily need the potion capacity that's fine um, or the 32 percent damage after killing an elite like this could probably be re-rolled let's go ahead and re-roll it uh, max life is actually really good or the total armor so i'll take max life and boom now once you do this you just have that's the only time that you can do it is re-roll one but it does give you a lot of chances to make your gear perfect to what your build does so you can do even more damage tip number three is applying vulnerability damage for those who do not know is when you apply vulnerable damage most there's so many skills in this game when you apply vulnerable damage the enemies take 20 percent times more damage while they are vulnerable this is just a flat damage multiplier increase. It's absolutely insane. I don't know why people are not applying vulnerable, but you're going to want to put this on. There's so many skills that allow you to apply vulnerable. Tornado, uh, Claw, Storm Strike. There's so many things that allow you to apply vulnerable in the game. And it, it, just, it just provides so much more utility to builds and just doing even more damage. And when we talk about damage buckets vulnerability is its own bucket so it's additive to any other multipliers that you're getting for damage which is why it scales and increases so much damage in the game so make sure in your builds guys that you are applying vulnerable in some way whether it's through a skill or you guys can see here on the paragon board where you have exploit where's exploit exploit is a glyph right here that when a enemy is damaged by you that automatically makes them vulnerable and it can't happen for 20 more seconds but they take an insane amount of damage when they all vulnerable and every single attack makes them vulnerable no matter what so you can change up your skills that way but apply vulnerable in all of your builds it's going to change how much damage you do and you're just going to absolutely annihilate enemies tip number four is imprinting your main stat or your main damage dealer on your weapon for example, here on the Dire Wolves uh, Paraju, 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 I have the Grizzly Rage now shapeshifts me into a Dire Werewolf. And then as the Dire Werewolf, I have the increased movement speed as well as the damage reduction. Now, if you're going for an offensive power like Core Speed, or you're doing one that's a damage one, like, hey, Boulder is a core skill, and now it's going to cost Spirit, but it's dealing a lot more damage. Once you finalize your build, I definitely recommend putting 
whatever your highest damage dealer is inside of your weapon this really changes how much damage you can do inside of your builds for example there's another one here that increases like the damage reduction or the attack speed or just how much damage you do with pulverize like these things are really going to change just like claw is now a storm skill and also cast storm strike at 123 percent which is just insane i wish it was higher but it just allows you to do even more damage so in the end when you finally get your build together definitely put your strongest damage dealing ability on your weapon if you can and then tip number five guys is putting in your sockets for your gems you can see i have gems in every single slot maxed out the highest it can possibly be for now and putting these in here allowing me to have damage reduction while i'm fortified or in my weapon dealing more basic skill damage these are such a huge power boost it's going to make your attacks do so much more damage and i don't think that people utilize gems enough in their builds especially while leveling you can always take them out it's really really easy but as you're leveling even at the lower stages of the gems you can see it's still a lot, a lot of damage. So for example, in Emeralds, even down here, an extra 9% critical strike damage to vulnerable enemies is huge. And then once you get it up higher, it's 12%. Like the 9% is very, very good, as well as even the 7.5 crit strike damage to vulnerable enemies. This is massive when you are leveling to 50 or even post 50. So I definitely, definitely encourage you to put gems in every single spot that you can. This includes all of your gear slots here for helmet, chest, and pants, and then your weapon skills or your weapon gear allows the offensive ones, and then in your amulets and rings, you put your defensive ones in there. In my case, I'm having armor instead of all resist because right now all resist doesn't really do anything, so armor is definitely the best one to do. So I really, really encourage you to put gems in here. It's going to make your attacks and your damage do even more. Uh, it's going to scale up like crazy, so definitely, definitely do this. And then bonus tip for you guys here inside the video is that you upgrading your glyphs i do not think that people do this enough and it really changes how much more damage you do in the game so for example i have my exploit here and you get the plus five for every five decks you do 3.1 increased damage to vulnerable targets you can see i'm up to 27 percent increased damage and then if i meet the 25 decks criteria i get the bonus requirements which is when an enemy is damaged by me they become vulnerable so upgrading these glyphs to at least 15 at least 15 so you get the added aura here because otherwise it'd be one square up and you wouldn't be able to get some of these like i wouldn't be able to get this uh, magic node here if i didn't have it to level 15 because it would be down to here i also would not get these two side nodes either this one doesn't matter too much but this one for the additional seven decks is just insane so make sure you guys are leveling your glyphs to level 15 at the minimum the max level on these is 21 as far as i know and that is even more damage but 15 is the bare minimum so please 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 as a bonus tip upgrade your glyphs to level 15 as soon as you possibly can especially if you're starting to get into the paragon board this is most effective especially up to 70 past 70 you're really going to need these no matter what or it's going to be hard to level uh fairly quickly or at a pretty good pace so make sure to level up your glyphs as minimum at 15 guys and then up to 21 in the end game so so guys those are my top five tips to help you increase your damage and be more effective in diablo 4 with the bonus tip there at the end thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like the video comment down below what do you guys think and make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace